Do you know how to figure out the length of this line segment? To figure out the length of this line segment, you're going to need to use a new tool. It's a tool called the distance formula. The distance formula makes it possible to use ordered pairs, and using the ordered pairs of endpoints of a line segment, we can figure out the length of that line segment. That's a lot to remember. First, let's look at the distance formula itself. The distance formula is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. Now you may be wondering what the x2 and y2's mean. Those are the ordered pairs of the endpoints. So if we put x1 comma y1, that would be the ordered pair of the first endpoint. We can call that endpoint 1. And if we had x2 and y2, that we could say is the ordered pair of the endpoints of the, of the second endpoint of the line segment. Now let's go back to the first diagram and then use those coordinates and the distance formula to figure out the length of the line segment. Here's that line segment once again. The coordinates of A are equal to negative 3, positive 4. So we can put those here. The coordinates of B are positive 2, positive 1. That's B. Now we have two ordered pairs and we can substitute these values into the distance formula and solve for the length of the segment. Here's the distance formula once again. Now let's substitute the values from the ordered pairs. We had a was equal to negative 3, 4, and we had b was equal to 2, 1. Let's call a the x1, y1 pair and b the x2, y2 pair. Now let's substitute those values d equals the square root of 1 minus 4 squared plus 2 minus a negative 3 squared. Now let's take it one step further and simplify inside the radical. 1 minus 4 is negative 3 squared plus double negative becomes a positive 5 squared. d is equal to negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus 25. Next, we have d is equal to the square root of 34. When we find the square root of 34, we find that it's not a perfect square, so we end up with an approximation. Let's take that equals away and write approximately 5.83. So if we rounded up to a whole number, we could say that it's approximately 6 units in length. However, 5.83 is an acceptable answer. Here's the distance formula once again. Now take a moment to write this down in your notebook. You're going to use this formula again. And remember, you can use the distance formula to find the length of any line segment as long as you have the coordinates of its endpoint.